Yeah, it's May of 05, and the next thing you know, we're getting fan mail from around the globe, <laughs> wanting, wanting more. Uh, so a, a CD was born that summer, <coughs> called Finite Simple Group War 2. <coughs> Love is never smooth, but mine's continuous for you. You're the upper bound in the chains of my heart. You're my axiom of choice, you know it's true. But lately our relations not so well defined, and I just can't function without you. I'll prove my proposition and I'm sure you'll find we're a fine and simple group of order of two. I'm losing my identity. I'm getting tenser every day. And without loss of generality, I will assume that you feel the same way. Cause every time I see you, you just quotient out the faithful image that I map into. But when we're one-to-one, -one, you'll see what I'm about. Cause we're a fine, simple group of order of two. Our equivalence was stable. A principle of bundle sitting deep inside. But then you drove a wedge between our two forms. Now everything is so complexified. My heart was open but too dense Our system was already directed To have a finite limit in some sense I'm living in the kernel of a rank one map From my domain its image looks so blue Cause all I see are zeros, it's a cruel trap But we're a finite simple group of order of two I'm not the smoothest operator in my class, but we're a mirror pair, me and you. So let's apply forgetful functors to the past and be a finite simple group. Be a finite simple group. Let's be a finite simple group of order two. And then he says, why not three? <laughs> I've proved my proposition now as you can see. So let's both be associative and free. And by corollary, this shows you and I to be purely inseparable. QED. Good luck on your final. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me.